Hello, it's a beautiful day here in Northern Arizona and today my video is about the seven things that may cause you not to want to move to Verde Valley. So seven reasons you may decide that Verde Valley is not the place for you to relocate. And the reason I'm doing this video is a lot of people are looking to move somewhere in the state of Arizona and I would much rather you find out now before you move here or before you get very serious and start taking multiple trips here that there are things that you don't like and you couldn't live with and have you move here and like oh crap I didn't know that and be all um, distressed because that's just not good for me that's not good for you that's not good for anybody so I'm gonna lay it on the line I'm gonna give you the seven top reasons that you might not be able to live here or you might not be able to handle living here in uh, Verde Valley so when I say Verde Valley I am talking of course north of Prescott uh, south of Flagstaff the beautiful area in northern Arizona and the towns are gonna be Cottonwood Clark Camp Verde, Cornville, and Rimrock. And now another thing is Verde Valley is right next to Sedona. And you'll often hear it called Sedona Verde Valley because we're right there. I mean, we are 20 minutes away from Cornville and uh, the beginning of the towns. So some of these things will apply to Sedona as well. But most of them, all of them apply to Verde Valley, some of them to Sedona. So I'm mostly talking Verde Valley today. And of course, the number one thing is if you can't handle a rural community. And the one thing that might cause you the most stress about a rural community is you have a lot of houses with acreage a lot of them will have farm and ranch animals so you're gonna have chickens turkeys cows goats, sheep emus horses if you can't handle that if they're scary to you probably the biggest drawback though is if you're in a rural community you're likely gonna hear a rooster going off and in the middle of summer that's like 5 a.m. the roosters will start maybe even 4 30 so if you can't handle a rooster waking you up at 4 30 uh, you might want to pass on the Verde Valley number two is um, if you are a cell phone buff and you like to be on your phone constantly. Now, let me tell you this. The cell phone coverage, there are places that are not good. Many of it is fine. If you're at home and you're connected to the Wi-Fi, no problem. But if you're driving around, I'm going to tell you every time I am driving through Cornville, the area on Cornville Road between like the Family Dollar gas station and now you're in that little windy area before the golf course homes, if you're on the phone, you're going to disconnect. And that's always when somebody wants to call me and talk about business and I'm like hey I'm driving I might lose you click it's gone again if you're going between Cottonwood and Sedona that little windy area on the 89a again you're on the phone you're cutting out you're cutting out it's gone so if that bothers you um, spotty cell phone coverage in some areas again Verde Valley might not be right for you again if you're connected to your Wi-Fi or you're in a known spot that's fine not an issue but just to know if you're driving around you're gonna be dropping calls like crazy uh, okay so number three is there's not a lot of exciting nightlife here so if you're the type that needs to be very cultural you like to attend concerts you like to go to the theater the ballet now I'm not saying there's none of that here but if you really like to go out clubbing and that kind of thing this might not be the place for you I mean we do have community theater we do have music events um, but there's not a lot of really refined nightclubs the best place to see a concert is probably in Prescott and I have gone over to Prescott to see last fall I saw Jackson Brown there it was very fun but you know it's 45 minutes to an hour to go around the mountain to get to Prescott so if you need to be close if you need to get in your car and go 15 minutes to go to a club or go to see a theater event um, this might not be the place for you because it kind of gets a little bit uh, quiet at night here in the village Oak Creek where I live they say you know by eight o'clock there's nothing open except maybe the subway so again if you're a nightlife person and you like to go out and do that kind of stuff Verde Valley just might not be it for you number four is there not a lot of chain box stores and restaurants so we do have like a Home Depot we do have a Walmart but there's not like a Kohl's there's not a Best Buy there's not even a Target here so if you like that kind of shopping also with the restaurants there's not a Chick-fil-a there's not a Del Taco there's not an In-N-Out Burger uh, there is a Dutch Brothers and a Starbucks so if you really like that kind of stuff and the reliability of the old reliable chain store again yeah there's Walmart and um, Home Depot but again 
Verde Valley might not be it. Now, of course, you go again a mile, not a mile, an hour, hour and a half north to Flagstaff or an hour south to Prescott. You will find all these things. But if you need to be close to that and you need to have your In-N-Out burger every night, which I have to say it was a tough withdrawal to get rid of that. But, you know, Verde Valley might not be it for you. So number five is if you are someone who says, I will never buy a house on a septic tank. I've heard that. Oh, we, we can't live in a place where there's a septic tank. Then again, Verde Valley definitely will not be the place for you. I'd say, what, three quarters of the homes are on a septic tank. Uh, I don't know the exact number, but I mean, I don't know why people worry about it so much, but people do. This is probably the fifth or sixth house I personally have lived in with the septic tank. I've actually never had an issue where I had an emergency, you know, pump situation. So one thing to know, if you have a septic, be careful. Don't flush down feminine products. Don't uh, put down your garbage disposal bones and watermelon rinds and that kind of stuff. Put the Ridex stuff in your tank once a month once a month, once every couple of months, and don't have wild parties where guests are flushing, <laughs> you don't know what, you won't have a problem with your septic tank. And the other thing is when you go to buy a house, on the sale of the house, the seller will pay for, they're required to pay for, a septic inspection by a certified septic tank company. And during the inspection, they're also required to pump the tank. So you move into a known functional septic tank that has been pumped and ready to go. So, but again, and if you're like, oh, I have to be on a sewer, forget it. Verde Valley will not be the place for you. Um, number six, this one is actually quite important, is there are some homes here that are on a partial floodplain. And that makes sense, right? Verde Valley is because the Verde River, the Verde River runs through it. Now here in Sedona, there are only a couple places that you worry about. Um, Oak Creek Canyon houses are in the partial flood zone AE, also out by Jack's Canyon. Uh, there's a couple washes where the homes that are in flood zone AE. Um, also Camp Verde, some parts of Cottonwood, some parts of Rimrock, or maybe even Cornville will have homes in the partial flood zone. And what you need to do, if you see something you really love, what I recommend is don't take the word of the seller or the seller's agent. You get on the phone with a reputable a flood insurance broker, and I can give you the number of several of them. They will tell you what the rate of flood insurance would be and what the risk is of your place flooding. And at that point, you can decide if you want to make an offer. You can even do this research while your um, home is in escrow. And then if within the due diligence period, you don't like what you hear, you can back out. But I recommend doing that type of research if you are in a part partial flood zone before you make an offer on the property, but just be aware you could come across that sometimes. Uh, and number seven this is the last one. I think it's kind of fun, but people might be scared because there are there's wildlife here. We're in a rural area. You are going to see coyotes, javelina, uh, bobcats, mountain lions, owls. Um, and if you have little tiny dogs or cats that just go in and out, uh, you're at risk of them getting nabbed up. So you have to watch your animals. Again, if you're in a walk and you're scared, if you encounter a coyote. Now again, coyotes, I see a lot of them running up and down the washes, uh, the river banks, the ditches. So that's where you're more prone to see coyotes. But I mean, really, they're everywhere. And in the times of year where I leave the windows open at night, uh, always in the morning, you're going to hear them howling in the distance. And if that bothers you again, Birdie Valley is not the place for you. But now again, if you could live with these seven things, uh, you might want to consider Birdie Valley. It's a great place to relocate to, a great place to retire. Um, and if you're interested in finding out more about about real estate here you could give me a call because I sell real estate here in uh, Sedona, Verde Valley and uh, Flagstaff area. My contact information is below. You can text me, email me, call me and I will get back to you. Again my name is Dawn Dickinson. My channel Living in Northern Arizona where I will discuss every single week a video on a topic that pertains to living here in the beautiful northern half of the state. I hope you like the video if you do please consider giving me a thumbs up. Coming back again next week to see my next topic and subscribe and I hope you are all having a great week.